Abraham Lincoln. A post office was built for the first time in New Salem. Lincoln became the postmaster based on recommendations by the villagers. Since only Lincoln worked for the post office, he didn't earn much money. Therefore, he started to look for additional opportunities to make money in the area. As a result, he decided to become a lawyer and help those who were overcharged. Lincoln started to study law. Thinking about the black slaves he saw in New Orleans, he studied even harder. There was another Illinois state election. Graham begged Lincoln to run for the election. His friends also encouraged him to go for it. Finally, Lincoln was elected. He studied hard on his own to earn his license to practice law. Lincoln worked in Springfield with his lawyer friend, Stewart. In 1842, Lincoln married Mary Todd at the age of 33. Mary was from a wealthy family, and she was educated and pretty. Soon, she gave birth to their first son, Robert. Meanwhile, Lincoln became famous by winning many cases. In addition, he also continued to work as a politician. Lincoln was 37 when he became the state representative for Illinois in Congress. He got a chance to achieve his dreams in Washington. One day, Lincoln and his family passed a neighborhood slum in Washington. A great number of black slaves were being whipped there. Daddy, where are they going? They are black slaves being sold. They are being unfairly punished because they are black. Lincoln decided to free black slaves no matter what the cost. At that time, America was at war with Mexico. Countless soldiers died in battle. Although Lincoln urged his fellow congressmen at the Capitol to stop the war, they ignored him. After his term in office was over, he came back to Springfield and continued his work as a lawyer. The North and the South were in conflict over slavery. The North was against slavery, while the South was for slavery. England, France, Austria and Russia had already banned the slave trade. The whole world was divided by the issue. The North wanted to set slaves free. However, the South wanted the opposite. They wanted to keep slavery. The tension grew bigger and a war became imminent. Lincoln wanted to free black slaves whatsoever. Therefore, he decided to run as a candidate for senator. In the election, Lincoln promised to abolish slavery. His rival candidate, Frederick Douglass, supported slavery. As a result, Douglass won the election. In 1860, Lincoln ran for president. His rival was Senator Douglas again. However, Lincoln defeated Douglas and became the 16th president of America. Forty days after Lincoln became the president, the South attacked the North and the Civil War broke out. Lincoln wanted to solve problems by negotiations. 
but the South wouldn't listen. Therefore, he gathered prominent politicians for his speech. If America wants to unify, I believe every citizen needs freedom and peace. On the 1st of January, 1863, Lincoln announced freedom of slaves. From now on, black slaves in the North and the South are all free. Newspapers across the nation reported the Emancipation Proclamation. Black slaves were happy to hear the news. However, the troops from the South resisted strongly. General Lee from the South attacked the North with 80,000 soldiers, but the South kept losing. In 1865, General Lee finally surrendered to General Grant of the North, and the war was over. On the 14th of April, Lincoln went to the theater with Mary. He was welcomed by audiences. While Lincoln was enjoying the show, a man appeared behind him with a gun in his right hand and a knife in his left hand. Bang! Lincoln collapsed. It happened so quickly that it was too late to do anything. On the next morning, Lincoln died at the age of 66. The man who shot Lincoln was John Wilkes Booth, and he supported the South. Lincoln's death turned the world upside down. Quickly, the happiness from the end of the war turned into sorrow. President Lincoln left one of the greatest works in American history by freeing the slaves. He now rests on the hill of his hometown. <laughs>